prepare for tears in the next next One Piece chapter, a One Piece editor says. Hey YouTube, Joe Boy here. So. so there was a live stream on YouTube in which One Piece editor Takano said that he was moved to tears after he read the next next chapter. He said it was the first time he cried since becoming a One Piece editor. Okay. I'm about to be a downer, all right? But I want you guys to understand, obviously I am very hyped about this. Some people out there saying, man, JB, why can't you just be happy about a good thing? I am happy, but I've been here before. And the story doesn't end like you think that it would. The editor's hyping up and speaking about a chapter, not once, not ever, has made the chapter a better experience. We'll discuss some possibilities here in just a moment. I am assuming that this is legitimate. This is actually how Takano felt. The dude for realsies read the One Piece chapter and was like, Oh my god. This is so good. Cries. That happened. You know, I think that there's a great chance the next chapter is going to, to blow us all away. Or I should say the next, next chapter. Whatever that means. But he didn't need to say it, man. Like, how you feel about a chapter is a spoiler. You can sit there and say, well, it's not a big spoiler. Bro, not a single person has read the chapter yet. Nobody but you. We had no expectations other than we're probably going to enjoy this. And now we're like, okay, well, it better make us cry. Once again, the editors take their place. They assume their roles of the hype men, mad lads that do more harm than good. If the chapter is going to make readers cry, you don't need to tout it, man. You don't need to tell us about it because we're going to read the chapter and guess what? If it's meant to be, we're gonna cry. I mean, at this point, they just better have a blog, right? Where they can just tell us of how we should feel before every chapter, just so that we are prepared. We wouldn't want to get caught off guard. Before I read the chapter, I gotta start listening to some sad music, watch some sad dramas, right? So I'm in the right mood. When I see you again. All right, guys, I'm in the right mood. The sadness is welling up inside of me. Bro, this chapter was so good. You ever had those, like, real fat tears, man? Like, it's that good. Please love me and buy one piece. Only merchandise will cure this sadness. Our feeling about the chapter doesn't change just because the editor gives a heads up about it. You know, it's like a laugh track, man. Oh, laugh track, laugh track, it's telling us to laugh. It's time to laugh, guys. Everyone, let's laugh with the laugh track. How, how can I know how to laugh without laugh track? Hmm. It's cheap. Honestly, it's a bit annoying. Let the chapter do your talking. It almost feels desperate, like they feel, you know, the need to make sure we are paying attention. Please don't go. I'm gonna drop some truth about the internet. All right, guys, you can listen, you know. JB's full of wisdom. When hype shit drops, all right, the internet takes notice. The internet don't need your help. I right, she's strong and independent, and more often than not, a little sassy, and also a bit abusive, I would say. I definitely don't believe that being in a relationship with the internet is really good for either party involved. It's a bit toxic. But like, you always come back together. This tells you something about life, man. Pornhub too strong. Anyway guys, I hope that makes sense, right? One Piece is just like Pornhub. It keeps pumping out content and you keep coming back. Bro, it sells itself. This is like pre-orders of video games. The game is hyped up and everybody tries their very darndest to sell it before anybody has a chance to play it, and then they no man sky you. There is nothing here that resembles a cohesive gaming experience. You are now less than zero entertained for having pre-ordered and played this. Except in this case, you only get disappointed fans and not stacks of money if it does disappoint. But again, guys, I'm not going to say that the reveal is definitely going to disappoint. You know, it sounds that way because I'm bitching, but uh, this is different from other recent examples of editors gone wild. Guy is not saying like, oh, we're going to get there eventually or this arc or this year. He is saying it is going to be the next, next chapter. I think it's just a reality of life, right? That we don't all enjoy the same things. I remember a few months back, a lot of people are going to judge me for this, but you know, it's just the truth. A lot of people are really excited for the bounty reveals of the Yonko. For me personally, and I'm not holding this against anyone if you did like this, but for me personally, that isn't the most exciting things because I just do not care about bounties like that. So if the editor were to hype up all oh, the next chapter is really gonna make you salivate and it ends up being bounties, I'm left like, wow, amazing. I hope you can understand how this creates a problem because if we just read the chapter, those who love bounties are gonna be like, Oh my god, such a good chapter. And for me, my expectation was a normal One Piece chapter, and that's what I would get, and I'm not left disappointed having 
built up expectations of something greater, let my mind run wild for things that I personally was looking for. And the same works in all sorts of different directions for whoever you are and whatever you enjoy most about One Piece and how it affects you. Like if an editor had decided to hype up the next chapter in which Katakuri stabs himself, I, I love that. That was one of my favorite things from Whole Cake Island. But after that chapter drops, mind you, the editor didn't hype it up. Many people were still disappointed because of power scaling, fighting type reasons. Oh, Katakuri nerfed himself for Luffy, you know, a slave to the plot sort of deal. So if the editor had hyped it up, they would have been disappointed because they would have expected something better. And I would have sat there and said, wow, the editor's feelings were justified. The moral of the story is that the editors need to shut up. At least in this case, the editor is obviously referring to a specific event rather than past cases in which they're hyping up general concepts like the year of Sanji, which have, you know, you don't know when exactly this expectation is going to be met or not. And it creates a whole host of other problems where you actually get to the moment that the editor was was actually talking about, but you're like, well, did it happen or did it not happen? I didn't feel that way. Maybe we'll get it later. Here, at least, you will know whether you will be disappointed within the next or the next next chapter. But yeah, the editors have never improved anybody's enjoyment of One Piece with any spoilery hype type thing that they have ever said ever. You know, somebody needs to sit down with them and let them know One Piece fans will come when the sauce gets spread. We love that shit. The internet smells it. But yeah, rant over. Now let's proceed to be excited and believe in Takano's tears. What do you guys think is going to happen? Because I think that we can assume at the very least something of great consequence to the story that is intended to be emotional will occur. I hear a lot of people saying death. Somebody is going to die. It could be. This would be the right time for a major death for sure. Act 3 in a Kabuki play which Oda is basing the structure of Wano on is supposed to end with great drama. We've already gotten a little bit of it with Orochi but that doesn't mean that more cannot occur. And just to be straight up honest with you, the end of the last chapter ended with some ambiguity as to the fight of Kiku and Kondro, where Kiku might have killed Kondro, and this could be something that the, the editor is referring to possibly. Although personally, I have some doubts that Kondro's death will actually make me cry. Obviously, we need to be there, and it depends on how it's depicted, how Oda decides to word it, how he paces it, but in the context that we are in right now, with just this hype, spoilery type reveal of the feeling of the next chapter, and then assuming that it is because Kondro died, thinking about Kondro being dead, I can't say that I, I feel emotional about it. Let's be real here, I love Yasu's death. I enjoyed Pound's death as well, truth be told. Neither made me cry. Nor apparently did they make Takano cry either, although Takano was only an editor since Wano, so I guess only Yasu's death would apply. If this is a death of a side character, I do feel like the community will be overhyped and disappointed. That's my general feel. And as for characters that I consider to be side characters, that would be the vast majority of the Scabbards. So a lot of people are thinking, well, maybe the Scabbards could die, and I definitely agree that it's a possibility that the Scabbards would die, but would I cry? I'm not sure. Another idea thrown out there is Momonosuke, but unfortunately for me, guys, Momo surely can die. We need to understand his powers first. So he's not going to die. So I don't know how much I would buy his death. Therefore, will I cry or won't I cry? Not too sure. And likewise, many other important characters would be much the same way, like a straw hat or something like that. I could still cry, even if the death isn't legitimate, but it just depends. If you ask me, I would say that I, I don't really want this to be a death. If I got to choose. Despite that being what the vast majority of people are saying. A lot of people's thoughts immediately jump to that. Emotional scene. Therefore, somebody died. But it doesn't have to be. Some of the most emotional moments in One Piece and other stories I've read don't involve death at all. Think about it. When Nami asked for help and Luffy gave her his hat. When Robin wanted to live. When Usopp and Luffy fought each other. When Soga King encouraged Luffy to stand back up in any lobby. Or Zoro took Luffy's pain. Nothing happened. Katakuri stabbed himself because of honor. I'm just saying that this doesn't have to mean that somebody died. You know, one of my favorite Stormlight Archive quotes ever... I could hardly read this without tearing up, even as I try to not cry. The orders in that series have ideals that they must first understand and then swear to in order to unlock various magical powers. So the normal version of the ideal I'm talking about is here. I will protect even those I hate so long as it is right. 
but each ideal can be unique to that person, such that another person speaks this ideal slightly differently. I will protect those I hate, even if the one I hate most is myself. That gets me every single time. I've read that at least 10 times, and nobody died. This was just a man swearing to fight his own weakness. Or in My Hero when All Might looks to Deku after his fight against All for One, you're next. Or Naruto coming home to the village after defeating Pain, and they finally understand his greatness. This might as well have been the end of Naruto, and I would have been just as satisfied. This is honestly what I want from this One Piece chapter. Takano cried, doesn't necessarily mean death. Death is a cheap tool that is overused, especially with Oda's history of fakeouts. I kind of want a power line, words that move the soul. I know Oda is capable, he's done so on multiple occasions, and these are just, in general, some of my favorite moments in all of fiction. And I do think that we're in a situation right now in the story where something like this could happen. Like, for instance, if Momonosuke, beaten and battered as he is, you know, Luffy goes to try and save him and he says, no, I will save myself just like he promised before. That's a scene that I could imagine being very emotional. Will I cry? Will I not cry? I'm not too sure, but it would be one of those things that could be borderline that regardless, I would enjoy a lot. Or a conversation between Kiku and Kondro, even if neither of them died, they simply are talking about their circumstances that could be really emotional too. I'm not too sure. I don't want to speculate too hard. But yeah, regardless of my frustration with Takano for having revealed this too soon prematurely when it was unnecessary and does no good and just causes harm, we do have something to look forward to in the next chapter. That is essentially what I believe that this is promising. There is a moment Oda intends to be very powerful very soon. So that is definitely reason to be excited. We are at a very crucial point in the story of Wano. Even before Takano said anything, my expectations were already pretty high for where we could go from here. They are certainly no lower now. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I had to say today. As always, share your thoughts in the comment section below. Like the video if you liked the video, dislike the video if you disliked the video, subscribe if you want to be notified for my future content, and as always, guys, have a wonderful day.